This week on my blog, I'd like to talk about the seemingly lost art of civility. It seems that as our social lives are more integrated by technology, simple gestures of humanity, such as giving a smile or saying hello, have fallen out of fashion and have given way to impersonal contact through cell phones and computers and a general disinterest in our fellow human beings. This kind of behavior can be seen everywhere. Too often in our schools, students don't show respect for their teachers or one another. Even in grocery stores, clerks barely look up from their cash registers and customers too often respond without acknowledging the clerks in return. Even in Washington, on a national stage, adults that we've elected to public office often show little respect for one another. This level of disrespect has begun to infiltrate every facet of our lives. In college campuses like MVCC, which represent a microcosm of larger society, are not untouched. While the definition of civility, according to Merriam-Webster, focuses on courtesy and politeness, the word's origin is in the Latin word civitas, referring to the civic community. Civility, then, refers to the civilized conduct of those in a community. In a modern context, this would include acts of community service, whether that community is a city, neighborhood, or college campus, and would encourage people to treat each other the way they themselves would like to be treated with mutual respect. Unfortunately, MVCC is not a stranger to incivility. It's a growing problem on college campuses throughout the country, and no one seems to be immune. Like many other students, I've been frustrated by the lack of civility on campus. It's difficult to define civility briefly, but we're looking for mutual respect across cultures, genders, and lifestyles. This respect should come from and be afforded to this whole college, students, staff, faculty, and administrators. Our hope for the Civility Project is to create a more positive, accepting community that values students for who they are. Last spring, MVCC held an open forum on civility that was attended by more than 700 people, including students, faculty, and staff. Many people voiced their concerns and told the personal experiences with incivility on our campuses. This forum made us realize just how important this issue is to our students and faculty and staff, and we started the Civility Project which aims to open a dialogue among our college community and come up with solutions together. To close out that event, then Student Congress President Megan Vogt and I signed a pledge to do our part to create a more civil and respectful learning environment at MVCC. For me, this pledge has meant keeping the conversation going and increasing efforts to raise awareness. The uh, group has been working on subject matters addressing responsibility and integrity and for the students, faculty and staff to embrace uh, the concept of uh, civility here at Mauk Valley Community College. The work group has been working very fervently to pull together surveys and data that will help us to be able to help the institution shift in regards to the culture that we have here to be more civil towards each other. The Civility Project work group was created to coordinate efforts to increase civility at MVCC. The group focuses not only on student-to-student -student civility, but also student-to-professor, professor-to-student, and colleague-to-colleague relationships and civility. The group is doing research on civility initiatives at other colleges and is reviewing student opinion and staff climate survey results that are related to civility. The work group also coordinates campus civility forums and helps promote various civility efforts by student clubs and other groups. MVCC also has been conducting training sessions and workshops with students, faculty, and staff that encourage participants to explore their ideas about civility as well as identify civility issues on our campuses. Exercises such as writing down a list of actions considered civil, identifying uncivil behaviors, and teaching participants simple ways of considering civility in their daily lives help both students, faculty, and staff alike in realizing how their words and actions can affect those around them. While it may seem like civility is a dying art, I think it is something that will never lose its worth, and I remain hopeful that we'll define and adhere to new standards of civility, which are actually the way we used to be in many respects. That's why MVCC will continue to stress the importance of being civil, both on our campuses and in society in general. Understanding the true meaning of civility is something that can benefit all of us in every aspect of our lives as we continue to learn to work and live together. 
I'd love to hear your comments on this post, so please email me directly. And as always, thanks for watching.